Okay, so this is probably a video just for myself, but I'm going to show you how to boot uh, SUS Linux on an IBM Z9 without uh, loading from SC FCP directly because I don't have the feature code on my machine, as you may know. So I just loaded the uh, CD installer. So I'm just gonna go into operating system messages and I'm just gonna bring up the, there we go. So we're here in the menu. So we're, I'm just gonna do on settings. We are going to enable VNC, that's nine. Say one, yes. We're also going to enable SSH, so it's 10. And we're going to do one, yes. Uh, I think it's uh, enough for now. I don't know if I need to do more. I'm just going to do zero. I'm going to do start installation, uh, start installation or update because I don't actually uh, have the fiber channel volume mounted. It's uh, going to be over network because the DVD and CD are actually uh, over FCP again, which are not gonna work. Uh, it's an FTP server, so it's one. Uh, the VNC password is this. Oops, got the wrong one. I actually typed it wrong before, but it's not a problem. You can actually look at the history here. Uh, yeah, oopsie. Uh, my card is uh, the B700, which is number 7. Uh, it's going to be for Ethernet. Uh, the port number is 0, which is default. The read channel is default. The right is also the same. Port name, we're going to just call it B700. Uh, why not? MAC address, we're going to get default. DHCP is no. So in this case it's uh, 192.168.0.123-24. Uh, gateway, I don't need it. Social domain, I don't need it. Uh, name server, I'm actually going to just use this. But it's not going to matter as much. Yeah. Okay, it's the same, so it's one thing to go on six page dot zero dot two. Uh mine is uh S L yes one. Uh we do need authentication, the user is FTP, password is the same, very secure, we don't need a proxy. And now we just cross our fingers that uh, it well, doesn't take much actually. Alrighty, so it's been a few minutes. The loading has been completed. Secure the history. We are just gonna use uh, uh, BNC, so it's number two. Hit enter. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. It's gonna set up the keys. And I think we're ready. So at this point, I'm gonna move to my client, which is actually the FTP server as well. I already have the IP saved. So it's on the one state zero one two three on port one. I'm gonna connect to this. We're gonna type the same password, which I typed wrong last time. And there we go. Uh, keyboard layout just for ease is Italian. Oops. There we go. In Italian. Let's actually make it bigger. There we go. Uh, we can agree to the licenses. Hit next. We're gonna configure CFCP. Of course, there is nothing now. Add. I know that there is actually I have one channel that's unplugged, which is this one here, but if I use A14, there we go, that's the this black box here, and we should also get LANs as well. It's blinky blinking, and it's done. So I'm gonna type next, 
and there we go. Type next again. And uh, here's the fun part. I'm going to do a port. I'm just going to close my BNC session. It's fine. Here we're going to be back at the prompt. We're now going to choose option two. And there it is. This is our fiber channel volume, uh, which is SDA2, which is exactly what I need. Hit one. And uh, there we go. It's going to boot. So. Here's what you need to do um, to get your Linux going on a machine that cannot uh, IPL from uh, FCP directly. That guy is blinking happily and soon I'll have an IP and I'll be able to SSH into it. Thanks for watching and uh, now it's time to have some fun with this beast. Woohoo!